What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I am back with another channel message. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing okay, staying safe, staying blessed during this Valentine's Day weekend. Okay, I hope that someone is making you their Valentine, and if not, make yourself your own Valentine. You feel me? Do something nice for yourself. Show yourself some, some self-care and self-love, okay? I am picking up on some energy, but I am going to freestyle. We're going to go with the freestyle energy this time around. Um, if you are new to this channel, I just ask that you tap in energetically for me. That allows me to bring clear and concise messages that will provide you with insight, clarification, and advice on how you should move forward. But I do always say if it doesn't apply please let it fly y'all okay so let's get started holy spirit what would you like for us to know i'm going to shuffle these oracle cards i'm going to start out with these oracle cards and see what direction we're going in okay holy spirit what is the message what is the oracle message for this energy that i am feeling Ooh. We're going to take the one that flipped over, though, okay? Remember your gifts. Focus on your blessings rather than dwelling on adversity. Pause and give thanks for your gifts, such as your sensitive sensitivity, intuition, health, friendships, or family, okay? So the message here from the Holy Spirit on this particular reading is remember your gifts. So let's see. It's a message about that. Maybe somebody has lost themselves dealing with a person, place, or thing, but we're going to see. Yep, they need to bring balance to their life with this temperance here. Cut the deck on temperance. Maybe they've been focusing too much on something, and it's taking away from them being able to show who they truly are. Two, two, two on the phone. But we're going to see. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this energy? What is the message here? Yep, we have the Ace of Wands. Somebody is being blessed with a passionate new beginning. And the Holy Spirit is asking them to not focus on the haters, okay? Don't focus on the haters. Focus on your blessings. That's what I'm getting here. What else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for this energy to know? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Don't focus on your haters who are focused on watching you, stalking you, <laughs> keeping track of you with this Knight of Pentacles energy here, okay? People are definitely trying to scope your passionate new beginning. You know, you got haters in the mess. It's like they waiting on a tower. They waiting to see if it's going to blow up in your face or if you're going to have a victory. But you came out as an ace of wands, okay? They want you to have this tower, but guess what? You got a whole ten of cups waiting on you with this passionate new beginning that's ahead of you. That is what the Holy Spirit wants you to focus on. Don't focus on these haters, okay? You're about to be celebrating with this three of cups. They want you to take your eyes off the prize, Miss Empress. They don't want you to focus on the positive things in your life. But you have to know how to bring balance to yourself with this temperance energy here. You got to give thanks. Give thanks to God for blessing you with this Ace of Wands. Blessing you with this Ten of Cups. Stop focusing on them haters and what they think because they ass is really struggling with this strength card here. Their egos have gotten the best of them. They thought that somehow they were going to have a victory over you and you have triumphed. You are in this celebratory three of cups energy and they struggling. Okay. So why would you pay attention to them? Four, four, four on the phone. You winning. Like the card says. Pause and give thanks for your gifts, such as your sensitivity, intuition, health, friendships, 
or family, you are extremely blessed. Ain't money ain't even being mentioned out here, but the Ten of Cups embodies all of those things. Okay, so why focus on people who are hating on you with this Five of Swords here? Why? If if they hating on you, they ain't doing better than you. That's how I feel about it. And they not doing better than you. Most of these people that got your name in their mouth, they're in the Ten of Swords in some way, shape, or form. They are the ones who are actually experiencing tower moments. Why they trying to cause tower moments in your life? Okay? You decided to take risk with this Knight of Wands energy here. Okay? You have decided to be bold and daring with your actions and take a risk and start this new beginning in your life. Okay? That's where you at. You're not worried about how it really looks to anybody who doesn't truly love and support you. That's what I'm picking up here. But you do embody this Queen of Cups energy, okay? You are a loved person. People love you. People care about you. People want to see you happy. It's probably, I promise you, way more people that want to see you succeed in life than people who are wishing for your downfall. So don't focus on these people who are wishing on your downfall. Okay? Your intuition has shown you that these people, places, and things are not going to change. They are always going to be in this hater type energy. You can be nice to these people, offer them help, advice, money, time, and attention, and they still going to find some way to talk shit about you and hate on you behind your back. That's just what it is. You know that now. With this Queen of Wands energy, this speaks to your intuition and your sensitivity. You are well aware of people's, some people's thoughts and attention, intention towards you. But I'm telling you that you're placing too much focus on the haters, okay? You are giving them too much energy, too much time, and too much attention. That's what I just heard. What else, Holy Spirit? You are too blessed to be stressed by, like I said, you are too blessed to be stressed by people who are currently facing judgment. You are currently in this King of Pentacles energy, honey. These people are currently up under judgment. Anybody that is hating on you, I promise you. Anybody that is hating on you, they are currently facing judgment of some, in some way, shape, or form, okay? They want you to be, they want to judge you, but you sitting in this King of Pentacles energy, okay? Like, how they, how they, you can't tell me nothing. That's the type of energy that I feel like you're in. Because you proved yourself, Miss Empress. You have transmuted these haters' energy time and time again. And you just keep bossing up, keep glowing up. And it's like, damn, we can't break up for shit. So at this point, you know they can't break you for shit, Okay. No matter what they say or do. So the Holy Spirit, again, is asking you to focus on your blessings rather than these people's judgment of you. They're not even in a position to judge you because you a whole ace of pentacles out here in this peace. All right. Out here on this earth. Okay. You out here shining like a whole damn gold, gold like the moon in the sky. That's what I'm seeing. Cradled in the palm of the Holy Spirit's hand. Okay, that's literally what I see on this card. That's how bright you shining. The will of fortune is currently on your side. Like they trying to judge you, but only God can judge you. For real, for real. Okay, and the judgment that you are receiving should let them know that they need to lay this hating energy, this hating ass energy to rest, period. 
They need to reflect, reflect and reevaluate their own lives instead of worrying so much about your life. And you know what you should do? You should keep continuing to embody this Queen of Pentacles energy, transmute that negative energy and focus on the positive. Like it says, focus on your blessings rather than dwelling on adversity. Because eventually, if you stop paying attention to them, they're going to go the fuck away. They're going to give up. They can only keep this shit going if you pay attention to them. If you feed the beast, if you feed the monster, that is what is going to continue to make it come back. Just like they say, one you feed a cat one time, that cat coming back to your door to get some food every day. Because they know that nine times out of ten, you're going to keep entertaining them if they meal at that damn door long enough, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want us to know about this energy? We have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Of course, they're plotting. Of course, they are trying to trigger you to have you stuck 11 11 on the phone they are trying to make you say something or do something that is going to have you hemmed up that's going to take you out of this king and queen of pentacles energy out of this ten of cups energy out of this ace of wands this new beginning that god has promised you your haters are waiting for you to slip my dear your haters are trying to make you stuck it's up to you to decide if you're going to fall for their gimmicks and fall where down where they at, fall down to their level. Because I promise you, these people would not be paying no attention to you. These people would not even be talking about you if you wasn't doing something right, child. Okay? People rarely sit up and talk shit about people who all fucked up. They, they might harp on them for a minute. But they ain't finna sit there and be talking about their blessings. That's for damn sure. People are talking about your blessings. 12-12 on the phone. They not sitting up talking about that you pro poor and you broke and you fucked up and you sick and you ain't got nothing. 12-21 on the phone. Hell no. Nah. They sitting up talking about how blessed and abundant you are. Okay, how you are having a passionate new beginning in your life that you sitting on a 10 of cups that no matter how much they gang stalk and hate on you, you still sitting in this king and queen of pentacles energy. The will of fortune is in your favor. And last but not least, my dear, you are an ace of pentacles. Okay, ain't shit that they can say about you. They if they talk shit about you, anybody listening to them, whether they agreeing with it or not. They know this person is a hater, okay? They know any final message is Holy Spirit. And this hater is trying to keep you stuck. They working hard, I'm trying to tell you. They, they waiting on you to slip up. You are almost there, 13, 13 on the phone. I'm picking up that within the next 24 to 48 hours, some of y'all are going to be stepping into some major, drastic, yet positive changes in your life. These people know that. These people probably didn't heard about what you got going on. 1331 on the phone. They upset, child. They can't believe that after all this hating and talking shit they didn't did about you, that you somehow are still managing to shine. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? We have the lovers here. One of your haters is a form of love choice, Okay. But lovers also talks about choices and decisions. I feel like you made positive choices and decisions that have you in this will of fortune, highly esteemed energy, okay? Again, you coming out as an empress and an ace of pentacles, among other things, 14, 14 on the phone. And I just feel like it's just indication of you making the right decisions in your life so that you could have the victory. Focus on that, honey. Don't focus on these haters. What Cat Williams said, if somebody hating on you, you doing something right. 
And what you need to be trying to do is figure out how you can get you about 50 or 100 more than motherfucking haters, okay? So that means you need to step your game up. If they hating, then that means you doing something right, okay? So keep shining because the more you shine, you going to have more haters, but again, like he said, that means you're doing something right. If you ain't got no haters, then that's when you should be worried, okay? 15, 15 on the phone. So check this out. Let them hate on you. Let them talk shit. Let them gang stalk you. Let them watch you, okay? But at the end of the day, they can't change nothing that you got going on. They can't stop the blessings that God has for you. So that's what you need to focus on. Don't focus on the haters. Let them hate. Okay? But put your energy into all that you have out here. Because you got a lot out here. Okay, Miss Empress? You got a lot to look forward to. Focus on that. And I think I'm going to wrap up the reading here. I hope this message helps somebody. I hope it provides you with some insight and clarification. If you felt anything that I was putting down, please hit that like button. And I'll be back soon for, with another one, y'all. Peace.